hi there hello there everyone welcome to a new video so our pair for today's analysis is the euro usd so without any further waste of time let's get on to the analysis uh before starting i have a tip for you is that no setup no trade if you cannot find a setup do not trade right so um uh as i use as i usually do i start from the four hour time frame as you can see right here at the top it's four hours and i then switch to a line graph to identify my key levels of the euro usd pair and uh i would say about 99 percent of the times i usually have around have um four key levels key levels so these are my four key levels for the euro usd meaning that these are the playgrounds of the market that i should be looking into so if the market since the market now is between this key level and this key level this is my playground should it these two key levels within my playground and same thing if the market does push the upside break 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 out and retest and then it would confirm to me that it's not between my highest high and previous high key level therefore this would be my playground for example here say for example the market was here so this would be my playground between this key level and this key level also here if the market was there this would be this key level and this key level my playgrounds and same as for here if the market is here this key level and my fourth key level which i didn't add would be my playgrounds in between this uh, that's what i do to basically identify my key levels my playgrounds of the market i use a line graph on the four hour time frame first and then cater for my key levels right the the proper way so um there's an extra zone that i do want to add which is I mean an extra key level not a zone an extra key level which is that key level that I did and uh yeah that's it that's just about it now catering for the overall direction of the market uh the markets are seeing uh, this is what the market is giving me south 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 trend so if i turn that and cater for the support uh, so uh this is my supporting trend right since i've cloned it to cater for basically yes the support and also a proper trend line right so uh there's there's a zone that i think i also want to add which is this small zone there hmm okay um hmm, okay okay that is the zone that i want to add there's also a small zone that i want to add also which is here yes here yeah, that i wanted to add right so now that uh, my basically now uh my overall direction here is a sell so this means that i should be looking for selling opportunities uh more than buying opportunities because i am in a sell trend and i am uh or uh i previously market previously 
tested my uh should now the market be selling towards the downside and reaching my supporting key level there at the bottom my my nearest key level so uh the overall is a sell and now moving deeper into hourly time frame to keep entries um I am seeing this small trend here. This is a small C. And if I clone that, uh, this here would be where I would cater for my supporting the support of the trend line, right? So uh, I want to view it from a higher time frame real quick and see. Uh, okay. It's just about fine. It's just about fine. But I wanna fix something. I want to fix something. Mm. Uh, this is what I want to fix my zone. So, uh, Now going back to the hourly time frame to cater for proper entries and possibilities of uh, the next move of the market. Okay, since now the market has previously gave me a touch on my trend line and also tested this zone right there which is by way of top and obviously a small retest and then a push to the downside but there's also a key level there as you can see the market recently gave me a this week rejection and if you look back to the if i move back to the four hour time frame as you can see this is a large week rejection the market respected the zone here and also here the market respected the zone also here the market respect respected this this zone and also here the market is trying to respect the zone and for us to basically confirm that is by way of you know a, a second or third rejection or a reversal chart pattern um at this support zone right so what does that mean that means that the market has a possibility of actually buying and also the market has a possibility of actually selling and the odds i would say um okay let me check something first because i just spotted something i just spotted the seed from the our time frame properly um hmm. okay just about it's just about fine so i'm thinking that this 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 buy is a counter trend to this trend line sell trend or sell trend line so what i'm thinking is that the market might basically give me small buying opportunities it can either retest this zone and continue to sell since the overall is a sell and uh another thing is that uh, no no setup is perfect no setup is perfect my setup may not be perfect but i try my best to cater for the best uh basically setups and also uh to basically cater for what's the next best move uh from the market right so uh you never know there's a there's a there's a buy chance there's a sell chance here so uh let me cater for a buy chance first so a buy chance is that uh, as you can see right now the market is currently giving me has has given me basically this key level and this is a strong zone so for buys the market uh 
break out of this south hand and should be giving and then uh, I would then have my buy stop there and here because for me once it reaches the confirmation that the market is buying I and my club be obviously at my nearest key level but I also want to cater for a key level whereby the market might 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 reverse or retest or something so uh these might be my key levels might might so yeah these might be my key levels and the over um the rest rate ratio is a good three so i hope that if the market does basically um completes my setup to a point where it is ready for me to trade basically this buy setup and then i just i hope that the market does basically respect my setup you know because this buy setup I, i'm kind of seeing that uh this is this this buy setup is you know is a good one is a good one so for buys this is what i have and uh now catering for sales let me remove every every um tool that i used to cater for buys remove it and for sales uh if i move to the hourly time frame for sales i would then want the market to basically give me a touch and or should i then sell opportunities and just about uh, this and just you know kill kill just kill the setup you know kill the setup so uh for for sales my uh, entry would be there by way of obviously a sell stop after the read that that's um, fine it's fine and my take would obviously be at my nearest key level and as you can see also it's a good 3.08 which is 0 0.8 more than our buy setup in terms of the rest reward ratio so uh, moving back to the hourly time frame um my entry would be by a way of a pop it's a portal to say reversal chart pattern so as you can see uh this is the type of setup that i would have if you look let me just explain where it is so as you can see a touch by way weak rejection and uh pulls will basically retest this small zone there by way of a fake out that it is not breaking above this zone then this zone would remain my resistance and then that's where i would have a sell stop there a bit lower so that if the market does push a bit lower to me it would confirm that okay now the market is starting to move into my direction for my sell setup and then should it activate me and basically then cater for the the sell setup and then i would be in the trade and just be patient and let the market do its thing whether it gives me whether it whether it respects my setup or it teaches me a lesson right so what i'm gonna do right now is to just do the arrow thing for the sales side right? so for sales this is what i would cater for and um for buys this is what i would cater for right? mm. So this is what I uh, this is what I'm looking at. This is basically my setup for this Euro USD pay. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below about the setup. Let us let me know if you do trade this pair, and if you do trade this pair, have you analyzed it yet? And what are you seeing? What's your opinion? And what's your setup? Your overall setup? 
basically anything involving this pair let me know and if you have even even if it's questions leave them on the comments below if you enjoyed this video like and if you want more content subscribe and thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye